Okay, so I figure everybody probably should know that the Earth rotates or spins on its axis. And if we're looking down from the North Pole, that spin would be counterclockwise. And hopefully we also know that that causes our sun to, to move across the sky, and you're going to say it rises in the east and sets in the west. However, since we live fairly far up in the northern hemisphere, the sun usually actually rises from kind of the southeast and sets in mostly the southwest. Now today I'm going to use a kind of handy little um, app called Planetarium, and this is for Google, and it's available in Google Chrome, um, to kind of show you what the night sky looks like. And we're going to take a look at it today, February 19th, and we're going to start this tour at 7 a.m. Okay? And we're going to go ahead and crank it forward. Now notice right over here we can tell that the sun is starting to make an appearance, and so we're right about sunset for today. And so we'll kind of click through and we'll get the sun to rise. Notice here is due east, here is due south, and so we're kind of in the east-southeast as the sun is rising. And as the time goes on, you notice the sun doesn't rise straight up over our heads. It's moving here kind of east to the southeast. It's kind of moved off our screen now, so we'll see if we can kind of get the... Whoa, that's way too much. There we go. So we're right a little bit afternoon, and so that's about as high as the sun's going to get in the sky. I mean, if you'll back it up, there's its apex in the sky. And then it's starting to set. So afternoon, it starts on its downward path. And we'll notice that it's coming down kind of towards the southwest again. And so we're at... 4 o'clock in the afternoon, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And then so it kind of sets in the west-southwest. Okay, and so the sun set. Now I'm going to back over here to kind of east-southeast where we started out and take a look at what also the Earth's rotation does to our night sky. Oops, that was way too fast. So there we are at 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. Now we're going up an hour at a time here. And so we're clicking ahead in hour intervals. And so watch what happens with these stars. You'll see that they too kind of seem to move across the sky. And they follow the same path that the sun would follow. So why are those stars moving in the same matter as the sun? Well, because it's caused by the Earth's rotation as well. Now, ancient humans noticed that this rotation happened. Now, they didn't know about the Earth spinning on its axis, but they, they thought the sky just kind of moved overhead in this pattern, which is how it does, apparently, if, you, if you're locked onto Earth's surface. But they were able to recognize these patterns, tell time by them, get direction by these star patterns, navigate with these star patterns, and even tell the season or the month of the year using the star patterns. Because if you couple in the Earth's rotation along with its movement around the sun, that means that we actually see different parts of the night sky during different parts of the year as well. And so they could create calendars based mostly on what constellations appeared in the sky, where they appeared, and when. And this would be tomorrow morning, again, sunrise a little bit after 7 o'clock, and the process happens again every 24 hours.